hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys so let's get started so for my eyes i'm going to start by using the MUA lip liner right here i'm going to use that to line my eyes i'm just going to use that to trace my eyebrow really i can't talk when I'm, while i'm doing this so please bear with me the most important part of makeup tutorial is your eyebrow really so if you don't get that right there's chances that everything might look wrong so I to take my time when I'm doing my eyebrow I'm just going to use my concealer to shape the eyebrow so so to shape my eyebrow I'm going to take the black opal right here it's a foundation here yeah, it's black opal foundation in only brown so I'm going to use that to shape my eyebrow I'm just going to take the urban decay brush right here I'm going to apply the foundation or well, you might as well call it concealer because it's very thick I'm going to use that to shape my eyebrow so to shape the upper part of my eyebrow I'm going to use, take the Kat Von D foundation right here I'm going to use that to shape my eyebrow on the top here so I'm going to brush that again and follow, repeat the same step as well So now you guys requested that I should film a makeup tutorial for one of the makeup that I post on my Instagram and I got a request for this makeup tutorial and I also received a lot of requests on this makeup right here and this green one right here. So I was not quite sure which one to go for but since the request on this one is more than the others so I thought it'd be nice to film this one for you guys is a black smoky high makeup so I thought it'd be nice to film this one for you guys since it's the most requested one and it's also the easiest one for me so I thought why not I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve that look I'm not very good at repeating makeup tutorials because I actually wear makeup if I'm not filming video if I'm not filming a makeup tutorial I actually just go with the flow so I'm not sure if I'll be able to give you 100% of that but I'll try my best for you guys to give you at least 99% so let's get started I didn't remember any of the product that I used in my previous one but I'll try my best to just recreate the look anyway so start by taking a clean fluffy brush I'm going to take this shade right here I'm going to use that as my transition color I'm not very good at repeating makeup tutorials I'm not very good at recreating the looks that I didn't film but I'm going to try my best trust me guys so I'm going to use that as my transition color shade right here I'm just going to take that a little bit above my transition color so it creates a line of demarcation between my high lid and the previous shade that I applied earlier so I'm applying that with a light hand then I'm going to do the same on the other side as well So I'm going to take the MAC Black Track right here, it's a, a MAC Pro Longwear in the shade Black Track. I'm going to use that as my base for the black eyeshadow that I'm going to be applying on my lid. Like a cut crease, it's not a cut crease really, but I'm just going to use that to create a shape, like a cut crease on the areas where I'm going to be applying the glitter. So that's what I'll be doing right now. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well, the brush that I used earlier as well. But I'm going to take the black shade right here. It has a little bit of glitter in it, but it doesn't really matter. It's a matte black shade, so it doesn't really matter as such. But I'm going to use that to blend the black shade in to avoid a line of demarcation between the 
transition shade and the gel liner that I applied just now so I'm just gonna blend that in I didn't take a lot from the palette I just used the brush to take a bit from the eyeshadow so I'm not putting a lot black eyes I'm not even finding a black eyes black shade on my lid but for this makeup look I had to use it but not a lot of it because I don't want to look like I just came out from the trash can so but because it's a smoky eye we have to it's what we have to do so I'm just as you can tell I don't know if you guys can tell but you won't be able to see any line of demarcation between the gel liner that I just applied right now and the transition and the transitional shade because it's all blended in this looks really scary but we're gonna get there guys never mind it's a smoky eye it has to look smoky so just right here I'm gonna blend that into the black eyeshadow that I just applied right now so we don't look everything won't look too black or too red so I'm just using that to blend the black shade again and again the key for a smoky eye tutorial the key for a smoky eye makeup look is blend 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 you, you can apply 100 shades of eyeshadow on your eyes without anyone noticing provided you blend it very well so that's done now next I'm going to take a lighter shade from this eyeshadow palette I'm going to take the Sigma E30 brush just like that a clean one I'm going to use that to apply this shade right here I think it's called Goldilocks but I'm not quite sure but this shade right here is a very light neutral shade I'm going to more like pink green I'm going to use that I'm going to apply that right here yeah I'm just applying that all over this area so everything will go all smoky or black so we don't look like we were cleaning or someone that just came back from the trash can so I think it's getting together we're getting the really and I'm still gonna take another blush right here i'm gonna use that to blend the shading again the key to smoky high is blend blend and keep blending so next i'm going to apply the Too Faced shadow insurance right here i'm going to apply that on my lids just to keep the glue in place i'm not going to the back to my outer corner i'm just applying the glitter from this side to this side not to my outer V so I don't know if you guys can tell the difference I have a glitter on this eye and I don't have on this side so I don't know if you guys can tell the difference really so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other view for this makeup serial, I didn't use any eyeliner at all because it's all black. There's no point in lining my eyes. So, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D foundation right here. So the next step now is to contour and highlight my face. So to contour and highlight my face, I'm going to take the tight tape shape right here. I'm going to mix it with the shade tan. I'm going to mix both of them on my face. I'm taking the first I'm going I'm taking the shade deep first I apply a little bit of that on my face here here that's it 
then I'm gonna take the shade tan sand I'm just gonna apply a bit of that as well on my face so then I'm gonna blend that using the root technique sponge right here I'm gonna blend the shades together So to contour my face, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hill Contour Key right here. I'm going to take this shade. I'm going to use that to contour my face. So I'm going to use the Bendai Banana Powder right here. I'm going to use that to set my concealer. I'm going to set my contour using the Sleek Contour Kit. I'm already using the pan with that one. It's actually my favorite one. I can't do without it. So I'm going to apply a bit of the Ben Eye Banana Powder on my nose again just to get it smashed. Check. <laughs> I'm joking. So why not anyway? If not, why not? So I've already applied my eyelashes off camera. So next I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Artist Eyeshadow Palette right here. I'm going to apply the gold shade in the palette, this shade right here. I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. Next I'm going to set my makeup using the Skin Lavinia, Skin Lanivia setting spray right here. I'm just going to spray that on my face. I think I actually back with that. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that to sink in my skin. I'm gonna take the Estelada I see this shadow stick right here. I'm gonna use that to line my waterline. And the reason why I tend to spray my face before using this or any other eyeliner is the fact that the rundown. I didn't wear a blush in the picture you saw you guys saw earlier, but I wore the Jeffree Star highlighter right here. It's called Skin First. It's called Skin First. Yeah. It's called Dark Oz, really. Yeah. So I'm just going to use that. To I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Velo Lips Liquid Lipstick right here. I, I used the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick, but I was not quite sure if I used the Gemini or if I used the other one. But I think, I'm not sure, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, but I guess I used this one really because I've been using this every day. Trust me, guys, I use this one every day so i was supposed to use a lip liner but there's no point because so that's my makeup done guys we're gonna move on to the air right now so stay tuned so guys, I'm just recreating the look, but I'm not using the same, I'm not wearing the same hair or anything. I just recreated the look. So if you notice a different that, I'm going to take the It's Defense Spray right here as well. I'm going to apply that on the hair because we have to protect the hair as much as we can. I've actually been... So next, I'm going to take another section from the hair. I'm taking a huge chunk of the hair, so because there's no time to, you know, there's not time to mess about. <laughs> Especially when you're in a hurry and you just need, you just need to curl your hair. So. So I'm just rolling the, the air around the one. Nothing special, nothing serious. 